Hi friends, this is Scott Punpiso. I'm going to be educating the masses in Christ Psychosis Infected America with uh, the meaning of being crazy and mentally disconnected with the disease of God belief. Because we create thoughts, the mind with the brain. We are evolved into the primates. I'm going to explain Christ psychosis, which is a neurological disorder not unlike schizophrenia. Exactly. They all have, they look, they accept imaginary friends. Uh, it's a metamagical thinking, accepted as reality. And uh, of course, neurologists in the United States are blind to this fact. Especially neurologists, neuro, uh, scientists, and scholars like. Uh, Dawkins and Harris and Dennett and many other neurologists and they uh, they don't connect the dots. But if you believe in God, you believe in bizarre metamagical beliefs of gods and imaginary friends, which are uh, the root of all religions and are also the root of uh, neurological disorders, you have a problem with the brain. In other words, you are psychotic, deluded. Dawkins fails to see that in the God delusion. He doesn't understand what the delusion is. The man is blind. But it, it's a problem with the brain. Well, I'm going to... Christ psychosis has many, many strengths for 1,700 years. Many, many strengths. One of them is Adventism. The Advent, the coming, which was founded by Ellen White, crazy woman that had an injury to the brain. It's about... was born in 1827, something like that. And uh, but she she followed the uh, the teachings of another crazy man, a prophet named William Miller, that sold the Bible literally and uh, started to figure it out when Christ was going to return. Zombie Jesus figured out on the return of October 1844. So all the crowds, lots of people, they they were waiting and they they start selling some white robes and everything, and. <laughs> And of course, it didn't show up. It was a great disappointment in 1844. But Ellen White continued, and they, all the fundamentalist Christians, the alternative imbeciles are stuck in the Middle Ages now. They are very stupid people. They're all over the United States. And they're not putting in insane asylums like they should be. They should be committed. Um, they started the, uh, the rapture idea. The Jews, and they're all waiting for Jesus to come back. Always, all of them. They're crazy people, all these Christians. And um, anyway, I'm going to explain about Adventism, the ramifications, and why, and, and many branches of Adventism was uh, Jim Jones, Koresh, Davidian, they're all Adventists, they all believe in that stuff, they change their names, they believe that Jesus is coming. Uh, even though Heaven's Gate, they have the same idea, but at this time the prophets are coming, Jesus was coming in a spaceship uh, following uh, uh, the comet Hell Bob, so they also killed themselves. So they're, they're lunatics people. And there are a lot of them are in Jerusalem, in the city of nuts. But they call the disease there Jerusalem Syndrome. And I think Dawkins had to get educated, and Harris and the other ones, and some American neurologists, so-called neurologists, are blind, and go to Jerusalem and understand what a syndrome is. These people are nuts in Jerusalem. They believe they are Jesus Christ and all that crap. And in the United States, they're all over the place. And you can see them in churches. So here it is. But before... I'm going to go back in time and I'm going to show you a video of me in 2008 talking about the disease of God belief. Here. In ancient times, they didn't know neurology. Today, we do. Uh, Christians are deluded, problem with their brains and belong in the mental institution, and they're, they're retarded because they're stuck in the, in the dark ages. Uh, Look at the problem in the society today. They created pedophilia, genocide, flagellation, with all these delusions of sin and uh, sacrifice uh, saviors, let's say, with blood and all this nonsense. These people are completely psychotic and they, they're responsible for genocide in the world today. They cannot keep their delusion to themselves and the infection. They have to spread their brain cancer to everybody else. This is disgusting. They are ruining the United States, they are ruining the whole world. They are responsible for the genocide, wars and everything. Like, look at Hitler, the Holocaust. He was a Christian. 
If it wasn't for Christianity, we wouldn't, have, we wouldn't have these problems in the world today. Everything is created by the brain and by ignorance because these people are completely deluded. This must be pointed out. You see that? This blind kid that assaulted the black man looking for a black to kill? Another Christian. You know, or the poor kid that his mind is corrupted with Christianity teachings by his parents. His parents I should be treated just like him. This guy should be put to death, run by a car. This stupid Christian idiot kid. You know, in, 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 uh, in about a year or two. Don't give him 22 years in prison having fun. No. And his parents should be also put in jail for corrupting the mind of this kid. I'm creating a monster, a chrysocotic infected monster out of it. What people are not aware of, especially the chrysocotics and people infected with uh, face psychosis, is that we create God with our brains. We get everything with our brains. They don't realize that. They should get educated. Look at what these Jewish psychotics in the city of Nuts, Jerusalem, are doing in front of a wall. They're bowing and they're reading a book and putting little notes on the ruins of the wall. These people are lunatics. They are Jewish psychotics. Do you think these people <laughs> bound to a ruined wall of a Roman temple? It used to be a temple to you, but they're your Optimus Maximus combination with Julius Caesar, the Jesus Christ, the Yahweh, the God. Do you think these people are sane doing this in the 21st century? Reading a book, it's like reading a Winnie the Pooh book because religious texts are nothing but, you know, all based in mythologies of millennia ago. You know, with different translations, or different meanings of words, and total mythologies. You have to be completely insane to believe this crap to be reality. But yet, people do, because their brains are defective. And the, parent, the problem is the parents that, that they corrupt the mind of children with the garbage of religious psychosis. They've been taught by the parents and the, the grandparents and so forth after that for 1,700 years. Which, again, is leads me to, again, to that branch that I'm discussing. The Christ Acosis branch, Adventism, Seventh-day Adventists. And they have universities all over the place. So what happened when schools are taught at universities and taught children all this garbage beliefs? That the parents already prepare them with their brains, with it, and, the, and the children, the brains are weak, and normally they are, they're not they don't think for themselves as well because they, they love the fantasy so much. It's like being addicted to fairy tales. And reality is not fun. That you're going to die and you have to do homework and all that. That's reality. And that's, uh, you know, that's the reason very few people are very, very intelligent in a classroom. The majority are mediocre and some, but very few are very intellectual kids. And those, you'll never, they never believe in fairy tales of God. So this is... Uh, the problem, religious psychosis. I continue with the, now with the, with the uh, seven-day Adventists, the little crazy people. They are corrupt in the mind of children in churches and in universities. And the Mormonism, the same thing, another branch with the Brigham Young University. These people are nuts. They are the ones that bring the, the world to ruin with the psychosis of God believed that nobody sees. This is uh, Christ Psychosis William Miller. Uh, Google it. You will enjoy this. This guy was an imbecile. And this is Ellen White, Ellen White, the founder of the Adventist. And see, there is a problem. Look at the list of Seventh-day Adventist colleges and universities. And not only the United States, all over the world. Check that out. Check all this. All over the world. These are chrysocotic infected imbeciles, and they keep the children stuck in the Middle Ages with all this garbage zombie God belief. But look at this. Just check it out. And these lunatics are teaching, you know, 6,000 uh, year old earth and all this creationism crap and Bible crap and shit like that from Ellen White. And of course, it gives, it gives birth to people like uh, Dave, David Koresh. Uh, a lot of the killings uh, around. Uh, you have uh, Jim Jones, 
and all that. And look at this. Look at this stuff. And this is the problem. All this is crazy psychotic, and this is just one, just one virulence strain of Christ psychosis, Adventism. There are many, many strains. This is the problem in this country. And this piece of shed missionaries go with their HIV cancer that makes children stuck in the Middle East and filtered all over the world to corrupt their minds. That's just why I hate missionaries. They're, these people are, they should be committed. They're criminals. Uh, uh, Ellen White was the founder of the Adventists, or Seventh-day Adventists. This is a crazy lady. She had a problem. She has a, uh, a trauma to the brain, a brain injury. And she starts seeing visions. But remember, she was born in 1827. And in uh, the 1840s, uh, she was a crazy woman. And everybody believed she was speaking because of God, because she was mumbling, just like Muhammad and just like all these people. They are infected by, by uh, uh, brain disease, uh, epilepsy or uh, schizophrenia, other brain disorders, and also by ingestion of entheogens, like the ancient prophets. They saw God because they were eating all these sacraments and affected their brain. And uh, this is where you Adventists come from. They're nuts. They're crazy people. And they have defective brains that believe all this crap. I mean, we're in the 21st century. And religious is a psychosis, a mental illness, it's a form of schizophrenia, and it makes brains be very weak. And another follower of hers with the idea was William Miller of the Great Disappointment of, 19, uh, of 1844, because Christ didn't show up. And uh, this is another story. You have to study William Miller, another Christ psychotic of the 1844. And about those times, United States of government, which all Christianity infected, you know, theotarded people, they developed the DSM-4, which is a diagnostic, a statistical manual of mental disorders. And uh, that's, that's a book of today that all the doctors have to obey. That's the reason Christianity is not defined, believing God is not defined for the schizophrenia-like disorder it is. That's thanks to the DSM-4, and that's a fact. So this medical book written by Christians uh, around the uh, 1840s that all doctors must obey today, uh, these imbeciles, ignorant imbeciles, if you believe in a space alien and all that, you are a schizophrenic, but if you believe in Jesus Christ, you are okay and sane. See, this mental disorder, schizotype disease, that nobody seems to see, thanks to the DSM-4, and ignorance and stupidity and lack of common sense and deductive thinking by so-called neurologists. They have the head up their ass like this, tunnel vision. And the problem is that it is the cause. This Christian crap, Christ psychosis, is the cause of all the problems in the world today. It causes uh, this genocidal psychopathy, you know, homophobia, intolerance, sadomasochism, genocide, you go, you go over there and you love to, you know, go hunting and kill animals and all that, and destroy, kill, killing dolphins. You know, recently they've been shooting some dolphins, some people, you know. And all this psychopathy, both fights, it comes from Christ psychosis. Because you enjoy killing. And this sadomasochism, and you like to beat up blacks, and you like to kill Jews, and you like to kill anybody that don't agree with this Christian crap, the infection that you have. And this is the problem. And this is what happens. Adventism. This, 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 this pieces of shit assholes infected with Christ psychosis, and these are some Jewish psychotics trying to convert people. They, they have this, this, this idea that uh, if somebody is gay, you know, they can be converted to the gay situation, you know, and all that. And you will see this here. And this is November 2012. This is happening, 25th. You can see CNN production. And but they cause all these shootings. Killing blacks, killing gays, killing... This is thanks to Christ psychosis, and nobody sees it as a disease. If you believe in imaginary friends, so you have brain implants in your brain and all that stuff, and you worry about it, you put aluminum foil on your TV so the, the aliens don't hit your brain and, and get your thoughts, then you're considered schizophrenic. But if you go to church and you believe in Jesus Christ, and you say, they say, no, atheists should be committed, and uh, the gays should be you know, killed and, and they're sick, 
like the DSM-4 said that being homosexual was a disorder. 1880s, read it. So that tells you about the DSM-4. That is the cause of the problems. And then uh, you, you have all these fights, these, these wars against Catholics and Protestants and the Arabs against the Jews, the other Jews, and then the Christians against the other. Those are pieces of shit, psychotic imbeciles. And this is the problem. This is the reason why I'm fighting. I express them. I slam them with the truth and facts. If you are, if you believe in God, you're a theota, you're an imbecile. And this is what happened. That's the reason of the shootings in theaters. This is the reason of the shootings in schools. This is the reason of all these problems and homophobia around. And you'll see that here. And these people that are trying to convert, like Michelle Bachman, the, Congress ma the congresswoman, piece of shit, Christ psychotic, infected imbecile, that her husband is a closet gay, that has this clinic to convert, you know, gays to, to, to be straight by, by reading them the Bible and all these things. Well, the Jews have it too. They make a lot of money out of it. Check this out. They're being sued. Abrahamic religion uh, psychosis. Imbeciles stuck in the Middle Ages. Barricade. And on the other side of that barricade is meant to represent another man's testicles. And there was a participant in the exercise who was supposed to break through that barricade and then grab the oranges and was instructed to some men to shove them down his pants. And all this was to symbolize that you know, his homosexuality See was that? related yeah, hocus to hocus crap. lack of, of very uh, strange interventions that were purported to help change your orientation from homosexuality. Jewish psychosis. Um, you know, lack of. That's his therapy. This piece of shit, too. And that reclaiming them would like help shamans. him toward heterosexuality. Back in the Middle Ages, a piece I, I of know, shit. Uh, Michael, uh, you they're not putting sanatoriums. Disturbing us. Christ, I call those pieces of shit imbeciles. Are, it's equal with being gay. And you point out there's well, a sure, tremendous amount of to religious. That comes along with due to Abrahamic to religious to condemn homosexuality. So imbeciles, assholes. You, you need defective to be brains. cured or fixed. Insidious trauma that is inflicted on a person when the repeated sure, message is that because religion that's broken religious psychosis is the cause of all the problems and the asshole is still around and so loose in the streets instead of putting in mental you're institutions trying and you're engaging in these practices and you're not experiencing change then there's a tremendous amount of self-blame that befalls you um, of course you know personally and then you feel you guilty and you kill yourself because you're gay or as anxiety and depression and you know as the previous segment was indicating See, these people that have been raised in Christ psychosis or Jewish psychosis infected homes don't understand they were product of a fuck. Not any God. The brain was born blank. Emerging blank out of a cave. No knowledge. And if the brain malfunctions after an education growing up during the imprinting period, and if you get educated and you all of a sudden you navigate between fantasy and, and, and reality. And if you've been taught and conditioned, Christ psychosis infected home, and you cannot, your, your brain is weak and has problems that cannot get rid of the deluded schizophrenic beliefs of God and crap like that, then you have a problem with your brain. Bizarre metamagical thinking happens in all religions, at the core of all religions, at the core of also disorders like schizophrenia. So neurologists and mentally healthy atheists, wake up. You were product of a fuck, not gods. The brain creates the, the God belief when it malfunctions. Learn neurology, please. Myself, um, fortunately, I was able to connect to licensed therapists, exactly. legitimate therapists who were able Put to- Put all these Christian imbeciles in sanatoriums. Issues it's a deluded piece of shit Christian. Uh, Anybody that believes in God is psychotic. Health and it's a tilt tar belongs to the mental uh, institution. This potentially is a landmark case. How likely is- Of course, sue so all the churches too. To be able to like it out of business. Yeah, sue so all of them. Well, we feel all of them. very strongly that- Sue so all, all the piece of shit churches. Uh, Jonas- All of them. The universities that believe in God and crap like that, sue all of them. This idea that- Wipe them out, imbeciles. See, and the mental illness, the psychopathy of God belief, or zombie God belief, it has no limits. Yes, it's, it's like an octopus. It has many, many ramifications. It's like a cancer. It spreads, and uh, it, it takes many forms. But it's, it's a psychosis. And uh, that is when these kids are being beat up.
in the United States Army, which is a Christianity-infected army. They are a bunch of theotard, homophobes, pieces of shit, deluded imbeciles that believe in a zombie that's saved with blood. So they hate Jews, they hate blacks, and they have gays. And that's the way it goes. And these are psychopath people, born in, a, of course, infected in Christian homes, going to Christian schools, running around with Christianity-infected Americans, that disgusting, intolerant pieces of shit that believe in a zombie that is right with that. It's stagnating the intellect because we're in the 21st century. That's the reason they don't understand science. They don't know they're a product of a fuck. If they, they use their brains, they realize that their mothers, a woman, sucked the dick of a man. He got erect and he shot sperm. And nine months later, these pieces of shit were born. Unfortunately, with a defective brain, so they believe in God, they can tell you to infect and fiction. But we all proud of a fuck. Come on. Let's deal with the reality of it all. And we are all bisexual by nature. Study science. What is this piece? What are we males having tits in our chest? Learn science, evolutionary biology. They understand that I'm correct. We're all bisexual by nature. And see, this is the problem we have today in this country. Queen for a day, then you are not punished even though you have had gay sex. I ran into barracks in the early morning of July 5th. He was killed with a baseball bat to the head. Barry Winchell faced anti-gay harassment every day to that for four months prior to his office. What do I do? I'm afraid to go to my Just like bullying in school, in Christian schools, They're gonna kick me out. everywhere, they, thanks to Christianity-infected parents. If you're gay or lesbian and you're happy... Belong in a mental institution with these morons. Go to the people you're supposed to be able to go to and say, I need help. What you can. can I do? How can you protect me? Yeah, the whole so, the whole military is Christian. What do you expect? Means that what do you expect? The person you're talking to could turn you in. Just like being Jewish during the Middle Ages, yeah. or during the Inquisition, it's they'll kill you. Just gay rights. It's something that cuts to the core of what America. If you don't want to eat pork or anything like that, automatically you're Jewish. You have a little menorah someplace. You're, you know, they kill you. They torture you. Same thing here. All the Christians are like that. They're despicable, the schizophrenic morons. These people belong in mental institutions. Here is the greatest of the Christ-Sarkotic imbeciles. Don't tell. Not Look at these stupid the people. To make sure we enforce it. Ruined the country for eight years, this Christian infected imbecile. This is the problem in this country today. Christ psychosis. When a book, which means tomorrow is zero hour, and See? the match begins tomorrow weren't translated until two days after 9-11 and to anyone who speaks Arabic, you know, those are two of the easiest... Yeah, they fire all the gay The prevalent translators. culture was that terrorists from Al-Qaeda were going to slip a nuclear that? weapon into an American city. The stupidity of America, Christianity infected America. When we broke the this story, is what happened. Very powerful Just like the Inquisition in which people the Middle said, Ages. Oh my God, like, alright, there's this gays in the military thing, like, whatever. Yeah. But we're doing something which could allow a nuclear weapon to be exploded yeah. in an American city. Like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, because you don't have gays in it. What feelings are about gays in the military. Exactly. You don't want cables to sit untranslated. See that? There is a problem. Starting in 2001, gay discharge figures went down each year because commanders in the field know gay people don't undercut the mission. I'll never forget being a young first lieutenant and folks who didn't want to deploy would come in and be like, well, I'm gay. Finally, start learning. And I'd say... Probably atheist well, commanders, okay. mentally healthy. There are countless Not definitely stupid commanders Christians commanders in power, not like a stupid Bush, morons like that. Day, and the commander said, no, you're not, get back to work. You're going overseas anyway. That's right. Said, Listen, it's not a policy I, I agree with, and we need yeah. these soldiers. Yeah, those are atheist commanders, mentally healthy, not infected with this Christian Campbell crap. Said, if reservists has orders for a deployment, send them anyway and deal with it when they come back. That's right. That's intelligent people, atheists. That they're a disruption. Not infected with this Christian combat readiness. Your illness combat. affecting no. the brain of these morons, these commanders. And then when they come back, after they sense it all, then. That's right. Yeah, they're hypocrites, too. Because you enlist. All that, no problem. Right? Right. You know if you're gay. Somebody we, we took in. There's a young man, former Army private by the name of Stephen Green, who's now serving a life sentence in Kentucky. When Green tried to join the Army in Texas in 2005, he's a high school dropout, 
He has three misdemeanor convictions, and he's got some personality problems. They gave him away. He ended up with two other people raping a young lady, then burning her body and her family. See that? So to me, it was her exactly. national security. Yes, cry psychotic. Somebody who's full blown cry psychosis. He's got a perfect record. But he's straight. High school graduate. Straight. Stellar performance on the aptitude test. No moral problems. Except for being a Christian. That's, that's the problem. The first thing we're taught in boot camp. There's no integrity. That's right. Thanks that's to Christianity. It forces you and actually tells you as a gay person that you need to be untruthful and dishonest. Exactly. Just like Christian. You know, all Christianity. How can I be truthful? And if you're a Christian you're and you're gay, you you're an idiot. You're like a Jewish Nazi. Because thanks to Christianity, do. that's the reason they, they discriminate against gays, against blacks, they have the KKK, and Hitler was a Christian, and all the problems. As a leader, so you know, if you're gay and you're a Christian, you're a Jewish Nazi. That's what you are. You have a problem with your brain. You know, an evil mutated primate born without any knowledge out of a cave of his mom, out of get educated, and that evil mutated primate is Richard Dawkins that wrote this book. And uh, evidently, he has no idea what a delusion is and that the brain creates the mind. And people that believe in God are no different than people believing in imaginary friends like the schizophrenics. I mean, he writes a, the God delusion. What is a delusion? I think Richard Dawkins ought to get educated in learning where the word, where the languages came from. The gene that causes a speech. And all that, how the words are formed, and etymology. Richard needs to really get educated before writing a book like this. Because he doesn't mention, not once, anything about psychology. Read the back of it. He doesn't mention schizophrenia, doesn't mention mental diseases that make people see gods and stuff. You know, and the delusion, where they come from. Doesn't he know what a delusion is? So it gives her a great disservice. That's the reason why I call Richard Dawkins blind, like a lot of other, uh, you know, like Harris and Dennett and the other ones. I mean, come on, Richard, get educated. In Jerusalem, they have the Jerusalem syndrome. What is a syndrome? Do you know what a syndrome is? It's like a delusion. You're deluding, you see things and you believe in things that are not real. Ah, the brain creates the mind. Thoughts are fantasies and different irrational things created in the brain. And when the brain malfunctions, they are accepted as reality. Those are a delusion. It's a psychopathy. It's metamagical thinking. It happens in schizophrenia. It happens in all religions. So Richard Dawkins and all their neurologists and Harris and so forth, please remove your tunnel vision goggles and uh, look at the whole picture. And go to Jerusalem and see if these people are saying it is called Jerusalem syndrome. Learn what syndrome means. Please get educated. Etymology. Not only on one, one discipline. Study many sciences and then connect them. Then you understand that believing God is a mental disease. Not unlike a schizophrenia. Enjoy the truth. <laughs> Jesus, also known as Tully, is an industrial tool salesman from New Orleans. It's an honor that I can't even describe. Uh, just do it to praise him. Here, he's channeling the spirit of Jesus and Jerusalem come to an end. Doctor, what do you make of Maria the Messiah? He lost a fake. מציגה את אותה תמונה שאנחנו קראנו לה תסמונת תירושלים. הדבר שמייחד אותה בעיניי זה שאנשים עם איזושהי רמה של... ועליהם משחקים את החזיונות שלהם, את המחשבות שלהם. In wandering each day to holy sites to preach, Maria believes that God speaks directly to her. 
They came on a donkey, and then and the next day I was the king. He, I like most sufferers of Jerusalem syndrome, Maria has gone without treatment. And all the people that go to church, mosque, or synagogue go without treatment because they believe in the same delusions as do schizophrenics. So religious belief are a neurological disorder, a syndrome. And if you believe in a zombie God that saves with blood, I call it Christ psychosis. A true delusion. Richard Dawkins, I don't know that. That's the God delusion. Enjoy the truth. We create bizarre beliefs and those delusions with the brain when it malfunctions and is sick. Pace di orum.